Oh, what is up, Ebony? Welcome back to Arachnity Oshi no Ko. Um, to an episode of five of season two. So basically, Arapping, this is the episode of four. So a couple things happened. Um, the TLDR is Aqua's very sad. <laughs> That's not new news, but it's a lot more relevant now because the performance that he's trying to do requires him to feel relief after somebody almost dies but doesn't. And so the, the director is like, hey, just channel some happy thoughts. And he's like, oh, happy thoughts. I could do that. Uh, and then his mind's eye personification of his own, like, despair and, like, what he, whatever you even want to call this says, no, you don't get to do that. You don't you don't deserve happiness because you failed type deal, right? Um, so, like, his, like, tendency to, like, self-punish or whatever for his for his, like, what he perceives to be his failures, right? Um, basically says, no, you're not allowed to do that anymore. And then gives him a nice little flashback just to really accentuate the point. So basically, very ouch for Aqua. Um, Akane, being the emotional support girlfriend in air quotes, comes in, uses her galaxy friggin' I Hoshino Giga Brain to kind of put it together, like, 90% of it. Though she doesn't, she's not, like, locked in on it, but... She imagines it and she's like, oh, that would really, really suck. And if it is true, I got to comfort my boy. So. Oh, this is just so sweet. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, um, the interesting question, I think, is going to be, will Aqua be able to, like, accept the emotional support she gives? Or is he going to, like, push it away, avoidant, I'm not deserving of it, um, don't, I don't want to let her in, right? Establish, like, emotional boundaries type deal, right? That's going to be kind of one of the big questions, I think. Because Akane does seem, like, very dedicated to be like, I'm going to be here for you, my guy. Right? And this is a super sweet moment. Um, and something that I think Aqua hasn't had in a very long time. So, but that doesn't mean he's going to respond positively to it, you know? But if there's somebody, dude, it's Akane, you know? If there is, well, other than Ruby, shout out Ruby, uh, forgotten character. But no, if there's somebody to do it, it's Akane, because she suffered so much in season one. So, like... It really, it really could be our, our silver bullet, but I'm not super confident. Uh, and then we got Gotanda, the, 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 this guy, um, who has spooky looking files on his computer. I have no idea if, I, I never have not trusted this guy. I've always thought this guy's lit, but then they show me a folder that says Aqua and, Ho and Hosh Hoshino, and then him looking at it, and now I don't trust him anymore. So, I think that's just my own paranoia, but... Yeah, that's basically where we're at. Apparently, this episode's really good. So, I don't know. Let's just watch it. You know what I mean? What's all this yammering for when we could be uh, watching the new episode? You know what I mean? Wait, what is this guy even yammering about? All right, episode five. Please, if you're going to do trauma, well, I don't know. I, listen, I almost said, please don't traumatize me. But then I realized that that's what this show was, like, really good at. And I kind of like it. So, like, you know, if you're going to traumatize me, I, I wouldn't mind you know, just be nice about it and, you know, do it well. And I trust you to do that. Oshinoko, let's get into it. Episode 5 in a 3, a 2, a 1, bang. Strain to the OP. Let me make... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is my subtitles the wrong language? No, it's in English, English. That's weird. That This time the... The subtitles are different than last episode. And I'm, I'm using the same... Eri Raws. Huh. Very strange. All right, well, anyways. Okay. So. The freaking clapper. Who's the clapper? I need to figure out who this clapper is. I wonder if... Oh, man. I still don't really know what those arms coming out of his face are. Super well. Freaking love Aqua. Aqua's a great character. I Man. Will he be able to do it, though? You know? Or is he just going to, like, hmm, I don't know. I'm just scared. I feel like, in a way, he can't, he can't get healthy. Because, like, the main plot almost requires him to not be healthy. Does that make sense? <laughs> I feel like the plot is about how unhealthy their, his brain is. And, like, like, the trauma. The plot is, like, the trauma from episode one. And, like, dealing with the dad thing. And I feel like we are way too early in the game to fix it. So, I'm just not confident. Hey, but we can take a baby step. Baby steps. Baby steps, Aqua. Come on, Aqua Marine. Come on, Luckin. Please be in the correct language, subtitles. Okay, we're doing a cooking. Okay, it's just a happy cook. Nope, they're softening us up. Do not trust this. Okay, 
Akane, I, I do not listen to you. This food is delicious. I do not trust this. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that's his grandma or mom or something. This mom is yammering. <laughs> Who was that person in the freaking uh, portrait? There was a portrait back there. Oh, jeez, he does not want that. See, the, oh my goodness, it's, it's exactly so true, exactly. If there's anyone to do it, it's Akane. But I don't think he wants it. He will give help, he will not take help. You know, that's kind of... You know what I mean? I'm just worried. Okay, so this is... We can look and find... Open the folder. It's probably what the folder was on the computer. Let me stop yammering. Oh, Ouch. Ouch. その気持ちちょっとわかるかも。どういうところが。これ用意した演技ですよね。感情が乗ってないから、端々の反射。で、and yeah, I forgot about that performance. He kind of was freaky, bro. The little tongue action there. The one star in the sky that's extra light. The North Star. Makes me think of an eye watching over from above. You want to be a star? This guy. You wouldn't get it, and I'm still not going to tell you. This <laughs> is just such a. Uh. そういうところなんじゃないですか。だったら。もし俺の目的が人を救うことがあれば。ええ、オッケー、オッケー、オッケー、オッケー。ゲノカイの上に目的の人間がいて。ウェイ、ヒーズジスキュー、ヒーズノ
It's crazy that we're talking about this after the kill thing just got dropped. It's like we've moved on from the, yeah, let's murder somebody idea. But that's okay. It made, you know, that's just crazy. He's cooking. あ、ouch。オッケー、ニャン。いがる。明日から稽古が終わったらここに来い。一から叩き直してやる。オッケー、why is Mel in- what is going on? <laughs> she just walks up. Who is this guy? Yeah. Bro, he's got- Who cares about the Aqua, like, trauma plot? Let's deal with the Melt sucks as an actor plot. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you, Melt. That's my Melt. That's my Melt guarantee, bro. Melt S tier. S tier character. He goes out with his girlfriend. <laughs> yup. And now she's gonna be like, Ugh. Yeah, she thinks she thinks that they're Yeah, they're going back to They're gonna go get Ruby, oh Oh, he's so naive Don't call him uh, yeah. She's saying don't call him Yeah Wait, why you feel She kind of feels some kind of way What do you think about that? Well,兄ちゃんはそんなことしない。高校生の子相手にそんな軽はずみに子供ができるような真似しない。してたら心の底から軽蔑する。ルビー。大丈夫。私は。大丈夫。私は。私は。私は。私は。私は。私は。私は
実力ねえやつが生きて説教かましてくんの一番ダセえのよ。姫川さんが言ってくるなら俺だって聞く耳も。That's okay, low key, not that wrong. Though this guy is kind of. Yeah, this guy's kind of a. Yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna defend that guy that much. But I like, I'm liking Mel here. Come on, Mel. Channel it positively. And it's over. And it's over. <laughs> Connor, what is your... Her outfit is crazy. Tell her. Tell her. Tell her. Tell her. Go move. Be Komachi Clutch. What did Ruby do in the bathroom? Did she just take five to like... I'm terrified of how she's... Her sanity is... I'm terrified of her sanity. Whether it's there or not. かなちゃんが自分のこと特別な存在だとか思い上がってるからそう感じるだけじゃない私を食べたと思ってるの天才子役よーってかこの栄光にみっともなく違みついて今の自分を見てるのおかなしいいんフードしたじゃんかしわた
kind of exactly why. Melt's really bad at talking sometimes. Uh. Mm. Dang, wait, this animation is crazy of her swinging that. That was crazy. Whoa, the little glimmer in her eyes? That jealousy, yeah. Oh, I'm about to show her way up. Dang, this animation is clean! It's funny because they're just prop weapons, but it looks like they're actually about to like square up. Well said. This guy's analysis I trust. She got spirit, I feel like. Whoa. Yeah? Yeah, you're just gonna... Okay, he's, he's fence-sitting, he's fence-sitting. Oh, just kidding. Okay, he's fence sitting and saying I'm the built different. So now it's kind of him versus Aqua a little bit. Yikes. Okay, somebody, dude, somebody tensions. Alright, now they got them two are bick bickering too. Oh my goodness, these people are so hyped up. Dude, this is too much! Everybody's trying to do shit. Everybody, I gotta go practice. I gotta. Oh, uh, now we're doing one of these cool things. That's so cool. That is so cool, times two. Zing! Do you like the like, eclipsed sun in the back or whatever? Damn! And then Biko's just chilling. What's up with Biko? I, dude, I love when they, they activate that kind of like vision. Wait, 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 wait. Are we like going to do have a performance now? I swear if she says, but at least you found it entertaining, I'm gonna smack her. Oh. Okay, then we're- yeah, okay, good, good, good. Okay, he said it, but he added himself, so it's slightly less cringe. Alright, I'll let it slide. He said exactly what I thought she was gonna say, but at least there are two of them. Aw, oh, she's so shy. Aww. That's very sweet. I've got, she's grown on me a lot. Melt? Is that Melt? They just, just zoomed in on while thinking about ability? Dude, Melt cannot get a break this episode. Melt. <laughs> My favorite side character is just getting, like, dumped on constantly. Oh my goodness. Get him, get him, get him. Yeah, they got her. Don't say that about Ruby, bro. They've got great genes, it's crazy! <laughs> okay, sorry, so sorry. That's only a little crazy, it's not that crazy. Oh my goodness! Wait, we're actually doing the play right now. Look how cute she was when she was sitting like that. She did a little shuffle. I love this woman. <laughs> Women, period. 
This episode is lit. Wish we got to see what they did a little bit, but I'll let us slide. Precociouses? Why are you calling him precocious? But fair enough. Okay. I think I trust him enough. Oh. Dang, they in outfit. They fit it up. Are you going to have a little bit of reconciliation here? What are you trying to do? Oh, that's so good. Yay. Good on you. Good on you for putting out a little thing. Because they're both, they're like, now they're climbing over each other to get to higher peaks. So it's a good rivalry. It's not like a, I hate you, even if that's kind of part of it, but it's like, okay, Akane is just terrifying. Why are you so scary? Oh, what is, what are you doing, brother? What is going on? I thought we were chilling. We... This is a forbidden pre-game, bro. He's doing the forbidden pre. This guy? Wow, he's like... His self-concept er, self is split. I, I, I kind of like this energy, Aqua. I kind of like it. He's dealing with it. Good transition. I don't like that you're doing it right now to... Because he's going to break himself on stage. Oh my goodness. Oh, is that like... Is that... Wait, is that kind of like him and that guy is like the eye colors? No, bro. Are you, are you telling me that like... That kind of feel like what they're doing here. Oh, that's gonna be, dude. Next episode's about to be so good, actually. Wait, this episode was the best one yet. This up, okay. We're starting to really hit the gas. We're starting to really hit the gas. I'm not gonna lie. Man, cause dude, okay. So whenever he eye changes, that's literal. I think that's like a literal, like it's almost like a mini personality swap. It seems, cause he's. I say personality swap. I'm not saying that he has like two, you know, dissociative identity disorder. That you could, I don't know, maybe freaking who cares? I don't know. Who cares? No, who knows, right? I don't know. Um, but I think just the idea where he's separating his own psyche like that, or like he's like, he's categorizing his different like states, you know? I think that is so dangerous. <laughs> Cause then they're just gonna get more extreme in their little boxes, right? Um, so, you know, and so. For him to be like, I'm gonna swap over to the evil mode. Bro, he's literally like, he's doing, I got two wolves inside me. He's doing that. That's dangerous! <laughs> oh, Aquamarine, brother. And what is up with, dude, Ruby, we were against the crazy moments? So, like, the thing about teen pregnancy, was that a, that was, I, that was an I reference, yeah. How that kind of, like, ended up not being good for I and kind of getting, like, an I's way. So, like, I feel like that's what she was projecting there. Um, but, so, I don't know. She just had some crazy energy. And I didn't like her walking away to be alone for a moment. Like, I, there was so much this episode, bro. It's, dude, it was crazy. I feel like this episode went kind of fast. Because, like, we kept being, like, well, what, 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 what's an example? Like, oh, we start and we're chilling. And then we go to Aqua's depressed. It's horrible. And then we're, like, oh, you know, we're chilling. And then we get into, like, real stuff. Uh, you know, Akani's, like, I would murder Whoever, you know, we're girlfriend, boyfriend, I would help you murder them, you know? Dude, her eye change when she did this was crazy. Right there? Oh my goodness, why you blink like that? Why you blink like this? Normal eyes, feeling really good. Stars in a pit of darkness. Why do you have black hole eyes? What is going on here? You can't be looking at me like this. This is not okay. This is wrong. I'll help you kill them? Listen, when I've I've said before that like one problem with Aqua is that he's like alone, right? He's a lonely physician. 
I don't know if I'll help you kill them is the type of camaraderie we're looking for. I mean, maybe it's better than nothing. It's probably better than nothing, right? Because it's like, I'll support you even if we're trying to kill somebody. I mean, that's ride or die. Gotta respect. I do respect the move. Absolutely respect the move. But I don't know if it's because it's, it's affirming his decision, which his decision I don't think is healthy for him. But it's affirming that saying, I would help you. So like, I mean, that's kind of the thing. It's like an enabler type beat a little bit where it's like, if you, you know, uh, approve of and uh, help somebody with bad decisions they're making, then you are making them worse, right? However, if he is completely alone, so even if it was kind of like that, at least he wouldn't be alone and that would probably help him open up more. So it's kind of a mixed bag, which is a bit spooky. Um, but I do appreciate the ride or die. I think I, I'll say it's a good move. I will say it's a good move. I think it's a yeah. risky move. Um, and then kind of, I re dude, I really like what she, how she looks with her hair flip back. That was a cool thing they did. That was cool to see her design kind of change a little bit. That was, I don't know. They made that really entertaining. Uh, like, ooh, and her hair gets kind of ruffled. The animation this episode really locked in. Um, this was, this was good too. I wanted to get a close. So it's crazy how, I feel like Ruby switches in and out of it so fast. She's almost like, she has like mood switches that are like, get so like sudden, you know? Aqua is like consistently apathetic most of the time, right? And now he's pulling out the, the evil mode, right? But, but Ruby seems to be a different, I mean, like the way right here, her voice drops, she gets darkness in her eyes. If he did, I'd despise him with all my heart. You're talking about your brother. Like, I get it because she very, I think she's just projecting what happened to I, right? Because get a high school girl pregnant type deal and so he's he's projecting that type or she's projecting that type of recklessness onto like him but even then she wouldn't forgive him so that shows how much she feels bad about still what happened to i which obviously she does but if it goes to the point that she wouldn't that she would despise aqua that's that's pretty extreme no not surprised just like oh boy but then she blinks and she's good oh, it's all right i trust my brother i'm chilling and then she's like but let me let me just watch this scene back. Her being like, I gotta go use the bathroom freaked me out. Her booty did not have to pee. I'm gonna be honest. She did not have to use the bathroom. She was using it as a mental health bathroom break. But like, see, this is scary, bro. When she's like, I'm about to snap. I need some alone time. I don't. Snap's a strong word. But like, I need a minute to like collect myself. I think that's what she was going for. For her to be able to be like, oh, I'm so sorry, and be like so sweet about it. Her mask is so strong. She's so good at pretending. Or swipping, swatching in, switching in and out, right? Right here. <laughs> Ruby is a character again! Yay, Ruby! She didn't even get to see Aqua, bro. That's crazy. Because she thinks that he's just laying, laying Akane over and over. Yeah, and then this guy... Comes in and starts trying to riz up her. To be fair, the out the window tech was pretty good, but this was this was a lot. This was a bit much. Her her obviously being uncomfortable here. That's when he's like, that's a red flag. So shout out Mel. Shout out Mel. However, like at the same time, it is pretty crazy to be like, come on, we're supposed to be professionals when you obviously suck. So I don't know. He doesn't like I. He doesn't have the most ground to stand on. Like, it's bad optics. It's just bad optics, you know? Um, yeah. Like, you're giving the guy so much ammunition to tear into you about. Um, so, yeah. Poor, poor Ruby is so naive. What is this outfit, Kana? Why does she look like a sailor? <laughs> she wears the craziest outfits. All right. Dude, so much else happened this episode. Okay, and then they fought. This was really funny. This was a really good collection of scenes, bro. I feel like they did this really well. You know? Especially, like, Akane did her little hair, hair poking out, showing, like, how, like, nervous she is. And her, like... They really, they really gave the, I'm embarrassed, don't show anybody that thing. They really expressed that really well up here, right? The slow jitters and stuff. That was really funny. Um, again, though, it's so crazy that we go from, it was kind of a whiplash episode. We went through, we went, had like three different like curves, right? 
that it was like, oh, I'll, I'll just kind of go through the full thing, right? Um, normal, normal opening, fun gimmick with the mom. Aqua, fin aqua depression, I'll help you kill. Okay, pretty crazy. Ruby, oh, talking to Mel, we're kind of chill. Ruby, I would despise him with all my heart. I need to go use the bathroom, right? Okay, that's a bit much. Then, oh, or then Mel, Mel, we have another kind of same like tension thing. And then, oh, release from the tension. Now we get, now we get these two like talking about the contact thing, you know, a bit. Then we have another bit, you know, release from the tension. Oh, we're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling. They're just doing a little fight, right? It's very light toned, even if it's real and they're obviously not happy about it. It's light, light tone. Um, then we have like kind of a more serious version, which isn't like super tense. It's This is more like dramatic, but it's not like tense. This was so cool, bro. Oh my goodness, bro. I like, dude, the way hers wraps over her is crazy. It's like she's putting on the outfit, but bro, Aqua, like, it looks like she puts on the wig because you can see it like fly over her top. So it's like she wraps it onto herself, but Aqua gets like transformed by spooky red juice, which is probably his despair, Loki. You want you want to make that, try to make that connection? Dang, and the black and the white, it's kind of got like a yin yang going on. I love the like sand lines in the back. The eclipse, random triangles and shit. Oh, it's it's so sick. <laughs> and then we just cut to a Biko chilling, bro. And then Biko's just like, oh boy. <laughs> no, but then so that's kind of te not tense, but you know, chilling. And then we end with incredible. Then we have like another you know chilling beat, and then we go into like suddenly oh agony pain. Like, oh my goodness, bro. So I feel like we had like four, di like three different pretty tense moments, right? In a 20 minute episode, which was just crazy. It was a lot. This is crazy. This is crazy. Him looking at her face to try to like pull it out of him because he's so desperate for an emotional performance because he is this obsessed with acting in this moment. Like he's really trying to give it his all. So he's, he's trying to pull everything out of him and like he's really limit testing here. Um, I could see this going horribly wrong in the best way possible or horribly right in the worst way possible, right? I think we're going to have a successful play. It might be really close. Like, I could see two things happening, right? Um, the play to the audience looks normal, um, but Aqua digs too deep and, like, has, like, a, a meltdown, but at least it's in character in a sense. So, like... His meltdown looks like he's just acting really hard, you know? So it could be like, well, he was really good. But he, you know, he comes out of it being like, ah, ah. you know, I could see one of those. I could also see him having a meltdown and then somebody clutching it, right? So like he has a meltdown and then Akane helps pull him out of it. Or like, you know, someone helps pull him out of it kind of. So it, 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 we have like some level of a recovery. Um... I don't know, maybe they'd even have to, like, improvise a little bit, right? Where it's like, he has a meltdown, and then they slightly skirt their lines just to, like, course correct. So it still is, like, bad, but it's problem solved. I, I don't see this completely, like, crashing and burning, though it definitely could. Um, but I feel like they're gonna toe the line between, like, it could have gone, it was almost really, really bad, and in a sense is really, really bad, but at least the play is good. I feel like that's what's gonna happen. But yeah, it's like, it's like, yeah! Oh, our fun rivalry! Because these two, I think, are great. I actually really like where Kane and uh, Kana are because they're they're building each other up, right? They're rivals in the sense that they're both trying to reach new heights because they're jealous of how good the other one is. So, and for them to admit it to each other, being like, I was looking forward to act with you, it's kind of like saying, like, you're, you're worthy. You're a worthy rival. So for them to both consider them each other worthy, I think that's good. Um, obviously, I'd prefer if they were best friends and, like, everybody was happy, but, you know, we can't get everything we want in this world, so at least a, 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 a acting grind set that is getting them both higher, I'll take that. I'll absolutely take that. Cuts to... <gasps> <gasps> like, is now the time to be doing this, brother? You're about to go on stage. And he's in his room, like, do is in the dressing room, like, a doom maxing on purpose. This is a crazy shot. This kind of went hard. Dude, look how look at the look in his eyes. He looks like a demon here. It, it helps that he's in his he got horns because of his costume. 
Dude, mirrors are evil, bro. Mirrors are evil. I don't know what it is, but this this whole impression of just like looking in the mirror and being like, I'm gonna kill you. That's real. That's so real. I can't even begin to control this guy's violent emotions. He's referring to it as this guy. Brother, it's you. But like your self-concept is split. Oh no, that's not good. <sighs> You gotta have unity in yourself, bro. That is such a red flag. Everything's red too, so it's not just me, but like, this is just so bad. I don't even, the problem is like, I mean, there's so many reasons you could say this happens, right? Like he put the violent, the violent emotion, it's like bottled up, right? He bottles up his violent emotions. He puts them aside as like a method to like self-preserve, as a method to cope, whatever. And then they're sitting there boiling, you know? viscous fluid into like gross murky tar just sitting inside himself and then he's been separate from it for so long that whenever he acts he he brings it forth it's such a switch in his emotional state that he considers himself a different person right because that is the crazy thing like people really do act incredibly different a lot of the time you know especially if you bring in very extreme like external stuff um like you know imagine like the me right now, could that even be compared to the me when I haven't had a Dr. Pepper in like five days and I am fiending? You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers, okay? I like how I just went for two super lighthearted things. Brother, we are not in a lighthearted mood, okay? No, but literally, like, actually true. The Snickers line works. You're not you when you're hungry. It's kind of that, right? You're not you when you're trying to cope with the death of your mother. What do we think of that one, huh? That's kind of that's kind of where we're at. So, but the, pro that's... I think that's the problem is you are you when you're hungry. You're just the hungry you. That'd be my take. Because otherwise you fall into this where it's you have like a bunch of different yous you're bouncing between. And that just seems really unpredictable and not happy. I don't think, you know what I mean? I don't think you want that level of unpredictability. I think it would be better to instead try to be happy with all of the yous, right? Like just always be good as opposed to be like, I'm usually somewhat okay, but I'm always like a snap away from transitioning into all the, the malice that lays just under the surface. Like, oh my goodness. Obviously so much easier said than done, all right? Obviously, obviously, obviously so much easier said than done. What am I, what, what's, what would I tell Aqua here? What, like, um, assimilate yourselves forehead. Like that's not gonna work, you know? Uh. I think the best way to, uh, A, I don't know about best. I don't know if there is a best way to do something like that. Aw, oh, the way she's holding him here is so sad. She really hugged him. She really loved him. And then poor Ruby on the other side of the door. Oh my goodness, that's so sad too. <laughs> but, bro, the, like, I think this at least is almost, like, at least it's not bottled up. You know what I mean? At least it's not bottled up. Is this the time and the place to be unbottling your emotions? No and no, right? Right before your per perform performance in the dressing room, is it the time to unbottle your, your trauma? I don't think so. I think the safe place was what we were doing at Gotanda's house, right? Gotanda's house with your girlfriend who has formed an emotional bond that says, I am there for you, Brody, right? So I think those are two people he's extremely comfortable with. Compared to everybody else, I'm not saying he's actually that comfortable, but like relative, I think those are two people he'd probably be almost the most comfortable with, if not prob maybe even the top two. I don't know if Ruby even hits the top two for him, right? Um, Because of all the trauma. So oh, I wonder if looking at each other makes them think of their mom. Ugh, that'd be so sad. Anyways, though, that that's the time and place to start unbottling that, right? In a safe space where you have emotional support, in a comfortable environment you've been to before without incredible time pressure, right? I mean, they still ha only have like two weeks or whatever, but that's that's the time and place, you know? Because then he can get something out and then use that later. He, he, he brought, he like oil dredged, bro. He brought some oil to the surface and then he's before the performance and he's like, F it, we ball, I need a lot more oil. And he just dug straight to the depths again. Like my guy, you can't be digging to the depths. You're gonna, your machine's gonna break. You're gonna light yourself on fire with all that oil. Oh, but it'll be a good performance, will it not? Boiling rage and regret. So those are the two that he's ascribing to the other, his other half. Frigid sorrow and vengefulness. Okay, all four, actually, I'd say. Yeah. Dang, th these shots go so hard. I'm pulled back there in an instant. 
Tokyo. It's gonna happen on stage. It but it's gonna be kind of lit. Like the crazy thing, I think this would be the a really cool way for this to play out. And I, I kind of already said it, but just to reiterate, he gets on stage. It goes horribly wrong in his mental state, but it's a really good performance. Imagine him going on stage and channeling these emotions effectively. And so his eye goes black and it's this crazy dramatic shot. Like that is a makes the entire crowd go dead silent moment if he aces it. And I think he kind of could, but I don't know if he could pull himself back out of it to finish the play. So I think he'll go there and it'll be good. And so it will, you know, and that what's cool about that is it kind of expresses a theme of like channeling horrible emotions and horrible experiences can equal extraordinarily captivating performance. Cause I think that's true. So I would love to see that enacted. Um, I just, I just kind of worry uh, that he won't be able to pull himself back out. Cause like, that was kind of the problem. Yeah. Is she dies in front of it or almost gets wounded in front of him in the play. And then she's okay. So I think he when she gets wounded, he'll snap into this and then she'll be okay, and I don't know if he'll be able to get himself out. And that's where I think somebody's either is gonna have to clutch. I think it's gonna like maybe, it, yeah. Ugh. I think it'll be a really captivating performance that he can't get out of, and then somebody's gonna have to give him the push, and it'll kind of stutter, and then he'll get out of it. Hopefully. What's a Ruby gonna think, Ruby? This was a clean shot too. Yeah, this would do. This this episode was doing so much with our animation too. I mean, I could just like yap about that as much as I wanted, right? So many good shots. Like this whole thing, him crawling up to the face of the mirror. Ooh, and that, like he got that crazy look in his eyes. I love that. You know, the whole bits, all their bit stuff was really well animated, really cute. The whole like this part was crazy. Right, obviously this is kind of the coolest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, if we're just gonna be honest, like, Melt even transforms! Melt gets to transform. That's my cotton candy-headed boy. Doesn't he look like he has cotton candy hair? Like, I'm adding my own sound effects. That's how cool it's gotten. Man. So yeah, I mean, oh, I hope they pull some of that out during the play too. That'd be so cool to see. Oh, everybody's everybody's hyping each other up, but also despairing each other up. Oh no! This is crazy. The whole yeah, what's going on there, bro? Oh man, oh man, bro. Crazy thing. Um, I have to pee. Okay, I'm back. Um, something else that I thought was really crazy. What that like just to point out. I mean, it's obvious, but like, it's. An, it, it, I think it's a really big step for Aqua, is that he was willing to tell somebody else about his plan to kill somebody, right? And he kind of phrases it like, how does he phrase it? Um, the, his first line. I thought he was gonna do the classic, um, hypothetically. I thought he was gonna do a hypothetically, but then he kind of because he says in that case, doesn't he say what if? Or supposing I told you my goal in this was to kill someone, what would you do? So I thought he was gonna leave it there because then it's like a. What would you do if I wanted to kill somebody, right? Which is a little different than I want to kill somebody, you know? And so it, it gives him kind of like a, oh, I was just asking a hypothetical. But then he says his second line, which is, there's this person. <laughs> you know what I mean? Supposed, okay, guys, what if I really wanted to kill somebody? So there's this specific guy, all right? That's the, that's the difference there, right? And so that, I mean, it's, him being comfortable enough with Akane to tell her as opposed to keep it to himself bottled up. So I like that a lot because it shows that he's starting to open up, which is really important. So Akane is actually getting some, you know, she's, she's reaping her wheats of the seeds she has sown. The very worrying thing, and she even, he even flips into demon mode for a moment there. The worrying thing is that she is also a demon, you know? They both got their own demon modes. So... I don't know if I to help you kill them is exactly like I kind of like it and it, because it is like a I'll support you no matter what even if you make bad decisions type deal even makes him sweat bro he's sweating you're telling me Aqua is sweating with his demon eye active that's how scary this woman is and he's like damn that's kind of crazy that you would just help kill somebody brother you're the one he's crazy dude he's actually kind of a this is like a classic Aqua thing too right um, don't say that kind of thing so casually. I'll help you kill them. Brother, you just, 
Well, I know it's her saying it casually kind of threw him off, but like, you're also somebody that wants to kill somebody. You know, she, well, she doesn't want to. She's just willing to help you. But you're the guy that just said, suppose I wanted to kill somebody, you know? So for him to be like, don't say that thing kind of thing so casually, it's, I feel like that's how he is a lot of the time, right? Somebody will try to be like open up, like be affectionate with him and he'll push it away. He'll back up. Right. Um, but then he's with, like, he's allowed to do that to other people. Right. So it's like, he's allowed to say, Oh, I'm a kill. I'm a kill a guy. But then when she says it, he's like, Oh my goodness, that's crazy. Right. Cause I think he just, he can't, maybe he has like a blind spot for himself, you know, or this is kind of like a little bit of him talking about himself and a little bit. It feels like projection a little bit or something, but that's kind of a minor point, minor, minor thing. I don't think that's a very big deal with what's going on here. Um, I'm sure you'd have your reasons. That's the nice thing is that she's like, I, I trust you. Um, and I, I accept you as you are. Therefore, your reasons are a plus for me, right? Like I'm, I'm here for you. I, it's like, I'm here for you, not your reasons. That's like what it is, you know? Um, so I, I just, she's great. Oh my goodness. But they're going to make each other worse. It's like two. I can do it's there's two. I can fix them people. I can fix him and I can fix her met together and they're making each other worse, but maybe better. They're making each other more scary. At least her goal was sane. I want to do better than Kana. That's a very doable goal. And now there's like a little bit of a rivalry between Aqua and, um, freaking main guy. Uh, Mr. Tokyo Blade himself. Uh, Himikawa. I had to pull up my nose for that. But yeah, I mean, really good at episode. I'm, I'm scared about, I guess, kind of the last thing I'll say. One of the last things I'll say here is I'm really scared about how Ruby copes. Um, because we haven't, how, you know, how is a big question. What is she doing to survive? With Aqua, we've gotten a very big look into his psyche in this episode, which I think is, has a lot to do with separating, containing, avoiding. Um, yeah, that seems like the Aqua special. Ruby, on the other hand, doesn't, I don't know if, I mean, she's, Put, pretending to be normal, like well adjusted and normal on her surface. So there's still that kind of division aspect, but like, I don't, I don't know what she's doing when she goes to the bathroom, right? Um, I don't know if she's just, if she actually has to pee, if she just needs five minutes to like take a breath, splash some water in her face or whatever, or if she's like, I don't know. Also, there's so many horrible things she could be doing to herself in there, right? Like, I don't know, like, bulimia, freaking, like, self-harm, right? I'll just throw them out. I've kind of been skirting around it because, you know, it's kind of, you know, it's a bit spicy. But, like, I'm, I'm, I don't think she's doing anything like that. I mean, that's just because that's too extreme a jump. But it's, the, this, the really scary thing is it's like, huh, that's kind of on the table, you know? That, like, she could be coping in some really negative ways because she has a lot of trauma going on, a lot of negative things stirring around in her brain. Uh... Yeah, and so when I see her walking away, it activates my panic response of, I don't know if I trust her to be alone, you know? Just for like a, a very small moment, especially when she's so good at pretending to be okay. That makes me not trust her her mental health, like at all. And I, there's no reason I ever should have, and I don't think I really ever have, but seeing it this explicitly freaks me out. Like if I melt, I'm gonna be like, uh, yeah, you want like a snack in there? I don't know what I'd do if I melt. Man, I'm not... Am I Ruby? Am I Akane? No, no, I'm not Akane. Am I Ruby? Am I Aqua? Or am I just Melt? I think I'm just Melt, guys. I'm Melt for real, for real. Yeah. I do like Pink Girl, too. Shout out, Pink Girl. Man. Dude. I think, I think uh, Aqua is kind of literally me, though. You know what I mean? Anybody literally me? That's my question for the commenters this episode. That'll be my commenters question as I wrap up here. Uh, who, Which character is the literally me character of the show? Is it... Aqua, I'm depressed and hate myself uh, and my failures and regrets and I have a demon inside me and I'm desperately trying to survive apathy. Um, is it Ruby? Mood swings. I am real I don't even know what to describe her. She's kind of a black box to me a little bit. Uh, Akane. Kana, or are you just melting it up? Eh, that's my question for you. But honestly, I think that's gonna do it for this one. I'm really excited for next episode. This was the best episode yet. I think last episode was the second best episode. This was the best episode. I think each episode has gotten a little better, you know? So next episode should get be really, really good. I'm really excited. But that's all I got for this one, y'all. On to the next should be exciting. Of course, of course, of course. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe. If you are new, blah, blah, blah. Comment below if you have anything to say or join the Discord and talk to me or their Oshinoko fans there. On the next episode, which will be episode six, should be exciting. Of course, of course, of course. I'm freaking lost in this outro. I'm freaking lost. End the episode. Peace.